Hola, bienvenidos a Costa Rica. Es hora del Jurassic Trail. The Jurassic Trial is a three-day, long-distance trials event held in the Guanacaste province of Costa Rica. There are packages available that can make for an all-inclusive experience. They provide a crate to ship your bike, as well as transportation, fuel, food, lodging, and everything else necessary for the weekend. They also have rental bikes for those that don't want to send their own. There are two lines, blue and red. The blue line is similar to the US support line, while the red was closer to our ES line with a few expert sections thrown in. There were 20 sections on Friday, 19 on Saturday, and 18 on Sunday. Most riders arrived on Wednesday, but the festivities got started on Thursday. We took a bus from our hotel in Puerto Camarillo near the beach to the town of Nanda Yure, where everyone's bikes were waiting to be set up. Then it was time for the opening ceremony along with dancing, a parade, and a riding show to kick off the event in style. After the show, bikes and riders were transported back to their hotel, which was within walking distance of Park for May and the start of each day's ride. Here we are at the start of day one. It's hot already, it's 8.30, people are just starting to take off. And I think we have about a 20 mile ride to the first section, so it's probably the longest uh, distance I've ridden between sections before on a Charles bike, so yeah, I think it's gonna be a long day, but hopefully it'll be a lot of fun. to drop pressure after the road riding. It's looking pretty slick. All right, section one. Completely straightforward. And we're riding no-stop rules. That was a bit of a surprise. Dropping air pressure some more. Got some deep water in this one. Oh, yep, that's a wet foot. Taking the adventure route up here. <laughs> this one looks pretty sweet if it goes well. Very, very bad. More air out. Oh. Ah, lame one again. 
It's been a pretty cool loop going to the next section. Kind of like a, an enduro ride we're getting in. Yeah, it's like downhill mountain biking right here. Probably doesn't look like it, but it's pretty steep. Quite the view for lunch up here. Wow. It's probably just me, but it seems a little easy to stall. So I'm gonna go out on the air screw and in on the idle just a bit. Try to make it easier to keep running. And I'm gonna keep letting air out. Definitely should have brought a gauge. See some traction over here. This might be a third gear option here. This place is wild. Big old rock slab hill climb. A little water on it and some leaves. Might be slick, might be grippy. Little squirrely, but it worked. There's grip, but not tons. Now we got a little hard enduro loop here. Now it feels like Jurassic Park. We got some rain, some fog. It just got dark, huh? Wow. Not sure what's in here. Oh, oh, hey, don't go there. Zona final. Finish. And now another long ride back to the pits. Not a bad view there. Quite the wild place. Uh, Worthwhile stop. Yeah, the ones that got there. You, you don't pop up every day. That is pretty Jurassic out there and over there. Fuel stop three, right? Just finished up day one here and what a long day it was. It was definitely the longest ride distance wise I've ever had on a trials bike in a day. And it was it was very cool though. The loop was was uh, pretty incredible. The views and the, the amount of work they put into the trails was, was really cool. Some of them were very fun just to ride and there was quite a bit of road work, but yeah, that's just part of the deal and, and part of the challenge. So it, it was uh, enjoyable overall. But early on in the sections, the first couple were pretty easy. Rode through it pretty well. And then the next few, I just didn't ride like myself. Had a lot of a lot of little issues that uh, actually, yeah, I'm sure it uh, didn't, didn't help my score, that's for sure. I'm, I'm not even sure what my score was because they don't have uh, score cards here. They just uh, you know, write down whatever they think you got. So uh, I don't think I'm doing very well after the first day. I just had a lot of mistakes early on. Um, I ended up stalling my bike in a section as I was going up a line that had traction. I started to loop out almost. So I let off the throttle and the next thing I know the bike stalls and I go backwards and it, yeah, just kind of a really weird spot and kind of caught, caught me off guard there and 
it was very uh, difficult for me to find traction in the sections because they were so varied. There was a groove that if you stayed in it, you're good, you have great traction, and if you're out of that an inch, then you have no traction. And I kept just letting myself veer off the main line and, and end up spinning and, and taking some points there. So I was a little disappointed with my riding. I did uh, keep dropping air pressure, and, and by the end of the day, the second half, I was riding much better, but the sections were also much easier. So I think I, I'm feeling better on the bike now. I think it usually takes me about a day to get comfortable with the terrain when I come to a new place. So I'm really hoping tomorrow will be a lot better.